Well, new at 6, a new speedway in the final phase of construction before opening its doors to racers and fans. Originally set to open this weekend, it's now set to open in May. KTSM 9 News reporter Susie Castillo tells us what we can expect from the state-of-the-art speedway park. Built between El Paso and Las Cruces, the Bottle Speedway Park is expected to bring tens of thousands of people to the area every year. Racers taking their marks will soon be taking over Bottle Speedway Park. The oval dirt track can be seen off I-10. Royal Jones also owned Southern New Mexico Speedway Park and El Paso Speedway Park before they closed. He says it was time for a brand new facility. People all over the United States that travel already know that the Bottle Speedway Park is here. This is going to be the one of the nicest in the country. Jones says this facility will have easier access. Walkways. This whole concrete pavilion up there, lots and lots of restrooms. You know, most racetracks were built in an era when there was no ADA. It will also feature modern concession stands with TVs featuring sports games. If there's something else going on, you're not interested in the races going on right now, maybe we'll have a football game going, or maybe it'll be a fight or AMA Supercross. Local law enforcement met with Jones and Ruth Stone to talk about making sure it's as safe as possible. Control in case we have a terrorist attack or something like that. Uh, we just got to be prepared, you know, with this day and age. Jones says with the open land in the area, there's potential for additions. A motocross park. Um, we want to do go-karts for kids. Opening day is set for the first weekend in May. I am excited but nervous. <laughs> you never know what can go wrong. There's a million things that can go wrong, but we've really planned it out, and there's a hopefully a million things go right. The owners tell me this can be a venue for concerts and events that are not related with racing as well. Reporting from Vado, Susie Castillo, KTSM 9 News. Hi, Susie. Thank you very much.